Hello loves, welcome back to another video. So excited to be back with you guys, but mostly I wanted to get back on here and say thank you guys so, so much for all of the love I received on my last video. I received more messages and DMs than I did actual comments on the video, just saying things like, oh my God, I'm so happy that you shared this because I've had them didn't wanna share it with anybody. My favorite messages were probably the ones that were like, thank you for putting yourself out there and telling people that this is something you wanted to do, but isn't something that you wanted to inspire to younger people. Like that meant a lot. I got a lot of compliments on just the fact that I was brave enough to share it with you guys. So I'm so, so thankful that I'm building a family with you all, with people that actually are open-minded and supportive of, you know, kind of the content that I share, do whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. So. Just thank you guys so so much for that i really expected to receive a lot of negativity and i have yet to receive any but i'm sure that's coming so i love you guys so so much and i'm so thankful for every time you all view my videos every time you share them and like them and i'm just i'm just overwhelmed with like i said how much love i received from that so let's get into today's video as you guys can see this cute little knot bun that i have here that i wear actually a lot and probably more than a few times in my photos and I would get compliments on it. So first I'm gonna show you guys what products we're gonna use and then we're going to get into the tutorial. So we have a regular brush. We have a teasing brush that has like a um, wave brush in the bottom and then some more fine tooth bristles on top. We have a little spoolie. We're going to be using those three. We have a pack of bobby pins. Ooh. We have a pack of bobby pins. Um, you probably don't need this many obviously, but you know, you're gonna lose like 300 even though that, you know, you bought a 300 pack and you're gonna be like, where do all my bobby pins go? So if you have heavier hair, you're probably going to use more than I'm gonna use. I only use three, but if you have heavier hair, you're probably going to use more than that. So bobby pins, I always like to get them in the color that blends in. So these are in black. I either get them in that color or dark brown because that's what the root of my hair is. And then we have some chai hairspray some everyday gray away spray which obviously is like a staple now i remember when i first seen this on a few youtube videos i was like why would you use gray away spray and then i was like oh that's why so anytime i wear my hair in any kind of like high up pony or anything i always use this to fill in my hairline and we're going to use some tresemme mousse and that's just to help smooth everything down get rid of the flyaways make it all look crisp and then some Style Factor pomade that we're going to use to lay our baby hairs as you see here in the front, or lay the edges as you would call them. So that is all the products, guys. All this stuff is drugstore products, except for the pomade, but it also can be found on Amazon. So as always, all the products that I use here are linked for you below in case you guys want to view them or order them. So let's get started. Okay guys, so first we are going to take our regular brush and we're going to brush our hair out. And we're just gonna make sure that it's super smooth and everything is you know not tangly or anything because when we start putting it up that's gonna matter a lot so as you guys can see my hair looks super clean i just washed it last night and it's super super soft this morning and i like to make sure that it's really clean when i do this hairstyle because i've done it before whenever it's like dirty and it just doesn't come out the same so if i was wearing my hair like half up half down or something i would want it like day or two dirty so that i could put dry shampoo in it and like volumize it and stuff but we want this to be as smooth as possible so first i'm going to flip my hair over and bring it up that is not a step that you have to do long we'll just brush it up as it go but i like to do it that way so first we're going to take the regular brush and brush through and then once you feel like you've got it pretty smooth with just the regular brush this is where it's going to get nifty you're going to take your teasing brush with the smaller bristles like that has like um, has like wave brush bristles at the bottom and then regular ones and you're going to just do that all over the head and you're just going to want to hold the hair tight guys as you do this because this is really going to determine how smooth this is going to come out for you. Doing it in the back to me is the hardest part. I'm going to grab it with this hand to do the same thing. And like I said, leaning over like that I feel like kind of helps too just keep it And then when I bring it back up, I'm going to do the front one more time because that's important. And then I'm just going to... So don't you feel like it's up there, guys? It's almost as smooth as you can get it. 
once you take your hair bowl, you're just gonna take it and make it super, super tight. You're gonna make it really high on your head because that's what you want. You want your, you don't want to like take and pull it like you would do a regular ponytail because once you do that, it's going to like full bumps in the side and you don't, you don't want to do that. So you're gonna take some hairspray. I'm just gonna spray it all around the sides. And as you guys can tell, I'm using this front mirror. Spray back here and just kind of just right behind the ear on this side. Just gonna make sure everything feels like it's up there and it's smooth. So now that you got your high pony, oh, I miss high ponies. You all miss when those were super popular, like when you were in middle school, especially where I was in cheerleading. Oh, my favorite. Look how like, this instant facelift, like from this hair, makes this wing look so much better. So, you're going to take your mousse and you're going to put just a little bit in your hand. And you're going to just coat your ponytail with it all over. I do this, guys, just to try to lay the hair down, make sure there's no flowers in it. And then you're going to do what I like to call a hair tornado and just start spinning it. As tight as you can possibly get it. All the way around. All the way to the end. And then once you got it super, super twisted, you're gonna start bringing it down and wrapping it around in like a little knot motion and keep twisting the ends as you wrap it around. And depending on how you like it, it depends. I like it to be a little up. And you're just gonna bring it around and you're just gonna tuck it right there. So you're gonna take your bobby pin. I really do not understand how influencers do this, like not open their bobby pin without their teeth, but I've been doing it that way since I was a child. So that is how I'm gonna keep doing it. And depending on how heavy your hair is, depends on how many of these you're gonna use. So I'm probably gonna use like a few. And by a few, I mean like two or three. So I put one there. I'm gonna put one right here in the front. I'm having to use the camera as my mirror. So I'm just gonna put that right through the middle. And then I'm gonna take this third one and I'm going to put it in the back. Just make sure it kind of stays where it's supposed to stay. So now that you've got it up there and you don't have any, what you would want to say is flyaways. You guys see how far my hairline comes back here? Ooh, it's broken now, gotta fix that. Um, I'm going to fill in my hairline right there because it is just too far back for my liking. I do not do this if I have makeup on because it's pointless, honestly, if you're not wearing makeup, you don't need it. So you're gonna take your gray away spray and you're just gonna shake it first. And I'm just gonna shake my hand and I'm going to cover right here. I'm just gonna fill in that hairline. better that looks. I'm gonna do it in the front. I'm gonna go check this in the mirror to make sure it looks the way it looks on camera because it looks really good here. So once you feel like it's filled in pretty well, I'm not gonna fill it in any more than this because it's gonna be too like too standoutish and too bold. We don't want that. So if you get any specks from the gray away spray, like where your hand moved, you're just gonna want to like take your brush and just kind of like buff it out. Um, like with your contour brush or just a brush and it should just come right off your skin so you don't want to worry about ruining your makeup. So after you've got this part done and you feel like your line is filled in enough, like I said, not everyone has to do that. So you don't have to do that if you really don't want to. I just do it because I feel like right here, my hairline goes really far back right there. It looks like I'm balding on those areas. And I like that. Next, you're gonna take your spoolie and your Style Factor pomade, and you're just gonna take just a smidge of this on the spoolie. And when I say a smidge, you guys, I love me a smidge. And then you're gonna take the other side of the spoolie that doesn't have anything on it, and you're gonna pull out your baby hairs. I actually have a mirror for this part because I don't think I can trust the camera to use it right there. So I'm just gonna pull these out. So once you have them pulled out, like most of them, you're gonna take the other part of the spoolie and you're just gonna start swooping the baby hairs. Ooh! And don't drop it like I just did.
You might use just a little more for the other side, like just a, just a smidge. I have a lot more baby hairs on this side anyway, so. Then I just take this spoolie and I put it right back on top of the hair. Don't you feel like they look pretty good and even, which mine look, I feel like they look pretty even. Right? They look a little even? Look pretty even. So you're gonna take your, your mousse and you're gonna put a little bit more in your hand and you're literally just going to rub it in between your hands and you're just going to go all over the back of your hair. And then I also like to do a little more in the front, just because in case you feel like it's not laying down enough. Some people would take the pomade and do it. I feel like it gets really sticky when you do that, so I'm like, just do the mousse, unless you have like much more coarse hair and you really gotta worry about it not laying down. And then, take a little bit more hairspray once you've got the mousse in there and you feel like it's laid down and just all over and just kind of use your fingers. I'm doing this really slow for you guys so I can tell you, but if I was doing this myself, like I would have already been done with my hair and out the door. So. And then I'm gonna spray a little bit on the bun itself. Just kind of lay down any flyaways that I see because I see a few there. Just lay them down. Lay it down, lay it down. You don't know what that song is? I'm disappointed. That is a finished look. This bun is super, super easy. I wear it actually a lot more than I actually thought I would when I first started. Bad thing. So as I was saying, I didn't think that I would wear this as much as I do now, honestly, after the first time I did it and then I got so many compliments on it and then I kept doing it. So every time I wear it up, people are like, oh my God, I really love your hair up. It makes you, makes it look like you have like, you know, an instant facelift and we love that. So mostly I just wear it because it's a quick, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I can get out the door in 10 minutes and look like I actually did something for myself instead of just threw it up in a messy one like I normally do. So, but I hope you guys liked it and I hope you all enjoy it. I hope you guys try it, maybe practice a few times before you wear it out of the house. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my stuff. Make sure you turn on post notifications so that you don't miss the weekly video every Wednesday. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys in the next one.